Hello, my beautiful Leo friends. Let's talk about your love life. What do we have for love for Leo in love? What are the messages, Spirit, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? in love look at learning you're getting to know somebody you're learning about somebody that you're attracted to after leaving someone else who um hurt you a situation you've left a situation behind and you are playing student of love right now look at this you know somebody that you care about and look at that the queen and king of cups leo what is going on here with your energy I like that eight of coins for you. You've really made progression. You've made a really solid uh, time of growth after being hurt by someone. Let's see what the cards are saying. Are your joint or your mutual energies with you and your person in the recent past? Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles energy. Lovely. Stable. That's Virgo energy. It's everything that you value. It says that basically you want to have a happily ever after, a legacy relationship, one in which there's plenty of money, big careers, nice homes, good investments, good retirement. You really want something of stability, and that's both you and your person. Currently, the energy between the two of you is the Ace of Cups, feeling new love, a beginning, a new beginning in love. We get that you're both sort of looking at things from a different perspective. You're both a little bit on guard. We see that. Okay, you're both a little bit guarded. You're being careful as you move forward. You want to know if this is the one. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Lovely energy. So let's see, Leo, what your person, how your person views the situation currently with you. How does your person view the situation currently with Leo? What is okay here we go they're a happy place look at this they view the situation with you as happily that's joyful it's like let's eat drink be merry life is short enjoy it now live in the moment it's also when we get the nine of cups one more cup and you have the ten of cups happily ever after so right now we see your person coming in with this energy of feeling that they think that the way forward is to be stable to be nurturing that both of you have to nurture this relationship that um, they feel they're very um, a little bit still wounded from the past your person still has feelings that maybe it could never happen and we also see them feeling like they might not deserve love or they might not get to have love. Like, well, when pigs fly, I'll get to be happy. So, you know, they, they know the way forward is you have to have great happiness and stability, which is good. But they do have a little bit of work to do on their attitude of optimism. Let's see how they view you. Ooh. <laughs> they view you as one sexy devil. We have, they view you as a person that's very passionate. You're coming in with this nine, this devil energy. So they find you to be a sexy devil, really sexy devil. Look at that. Somebody who really could manipulate them if you wanted to. If you're not a nice person, this is what they think that you might manipulate them. However, they do see you as a person who's not ready to settle down. So they do see you as having in and out energy, sort of catches, catch can. So let's see. But you're falling in love with each other. All right. So how does your person feel in their heart space, Leo? They think you're the one. They think that you are the one. Hierophant energy. That is the energy of... Uh, the traditional marriage, church, you know, they want a foundation. This is very important to them, but you are not showing that you care the same way, and you do. I'm getting, Leo, that that is mutual energy, but I don't think they know it. So let's see what we have in terms of how they view the way forward. The path forward, being discreet, okay? Your person feels as though they need to follow their intuition, and they need to be sure to judge the situation accurately and fairly so that they can get what they want. And they, you know, they see this as 
They have to use their intuition to know if this relationship is going to give them what they want and they will cut it out if it doesn't and they will go forward if it's balanced. But they trust themselves well enough to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So let's see what we have here for you and your mutual hidden energy. You both feel really lucky. Look at that. You feel lucky to have met each other. Wheel of Fortune, finally it's my turn. Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. Oh, look at this. How nice. You have the Happily Ever After card. Remember I said this person views the situation as Nine of Cups, living in the moment, having fun, one more cup. And you get the Happily Ever After card, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups to Ten of Cups. So that's where you're at in your mutual energy. And both of you feel lucky. You really feel as though you might be the answer to each other's romantic dreams. All right. So let's see what Spirit is recommending for the two of you, Leo. What is the advice of Spirit in this relationship? What is the advice of spirit? Ooh, passion. Oh, nice. Oh, use your discernment. Okay, use your intuition and your discernment. This is king of swords and your person. This is mutual. This is the advice of spirit. And this is what your person is feeling, that they have to be logical. Queen of Swords energy, knowing the truth. Spirit is saying stay focused on the truth with the king of swords energy. Be very passionate. Let go and be passionate. Go for it. Text, travel, fly somewhere. Uh, make love all night long and you will manifest this beautiful Taurus energy that your person wants. Look at this. Leo, look at that. Two Taurus cards and it's all about the beauty of the planet Venus and love. And Spirit is saying, go for it like it okay so let's see what your outcome is that's what spirit wants you to do spirit is giving this relationship a big thumbs up all right so let's see what we have here for your outcome look at this energy all right we have the energy of the ace of coins that's a significant love offer Okay, significant love offer. That is the engagement ring when we look at love relationships. Making a significant offer. Going about it in a very, you know, you're both very successful, happy, single people who are very popular. Um, but it does show that there might be some mind games here. We have the Five of Swords energy and the Seven of Swords energy as your outcome along with the energy of being this can indicate that you're both very happy being single okay so let's go ahead and clarify i'm definitely going to clarify so we're going to give you the table view all right so let's see here what we have there we go there we go so we have the outcome cards i'm going to clarify those first I want to see the rest of the cards are really beautiful so let's see what the seven of swords and the yeah, throw caution to the winds so right now you're kind of not really divulging what this means is you're not really telling each other you're not coming clean with the fact that you both really want each other and so what you're wondering is if you throw caution to the winds in your future will you be sorry will your person start to uh, really not be so nice to you you know will this start to cause games so why is the seven of swords here you don't believe in the relationship so both of you feel like this is too good to be true and you're not talking about it and this says that you might end up playing games and really damaging this relationship if you're not careful. So when we look at this energy, it is something that needs to be watched carefully. Now, the good thing about a tarot reading is that you can change the outcome by changing your energy. So let's look and see. I'm only going to clarify those cards. Yeah, both of you, your partner gets, um, gets bored easily and you are not boring. 
So this is their usual behavior is that they get bored easily. You know, they're kind of a lightweight in love. You may have some suspicion that they are a lightweight in love, but you're, you know, you're going to throw caution to the winds because this connection is very powerful. Cards. <laughs> okay. We have the Queen of Swords reversed. Your person doesn't like that you are, um, your person does not like the fact that they see you, Leo, as a player. That's not going to fly with them. They want this very serious relationship. So let's clarify why they think you are devil energy. Why do they think that you're devil energy? Hmm. Because they don't think you want to get married. They think that you might be really a temptation to them that could take them off their course. They feel also, too, that uh, they might have remorse and regret about trusting the relationship. So the devil energy is, they're fearful. What I'm seeing here is this person fears getting hurt by you. We have the moon card is clarifying the Hierophant. So what they're looking for is to see if you're marriage material. And the answer to that is, we have all these cards that flipped over. The answer is, are you marriage material? Absolutely. That is the Aries Queen. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Virgo energy. We have the Ace of Cups repeating itself again, that you really love this person, that they love you. Okay, good energy. So why do we see the Judge Judy card upright? Why do we see Judge Judy upright? This person, oh man, anytime they've ever found the truth out about other relationships, it shows that they've been unhappy, that they've gotten their feelings hurt. So all these energies here are beautiful. The Ten of Swords says that both of you will walk away from any relationship that doesn't serve you. And let's see what we have here for what's actually going to happen. Because your outcome cards are the Ace of Coins and the Nine of Coins. But we have this sort of sub-story here that both of you are very afraid. So let's see what the actual outcome is going to be here. The clarifiers are that both of you will need to make a choice about love and commit to it. And the Six of Cups, be willing to really reunite. The advice of how to get away from this energy of old hurts and old game playing. Throw caution to the winds. Go ahead and choose your person and make a bigger commitment. Make it obvious. Talk to each other and come together in a very clear-cut way. So let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has for you. So advice is saying here that for you, Leo, you're in a good place. But your person has some baggage and that I don't think that you have. Imagine, imagine something beautiful and better. So Leo, beautiful energy here. So basically what we're seeing is we can see that this is a treasure of a relationship. So it's going to be important to trust, throw caution to the winds. You know, if you don't take a chance at love, how can you have love? You both love each other. You both want this happily ever after, even though it's hidden. Eye of the needle, intentionality, that is the advice of spirit. Go through the eye of the needle. Go ahead, take the risk, throw caution to the winds. Leo, have a great week. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.